Oh, is it that late already? Plenty of them around here. Oh, demonic hellhounds, as they say in the local fables. say somebody lives here. An oil lamp. Doesn't seem all that old. Maybe it still works. A couple of luminous smiley stickers. <laughs> Whoever lives here must be scared of the dark. File. Huh. The escape tool of choice, in the comics at least. I'm guessing that's paint then as a gasoline for cleaning stuff. Ugh, smells something like that at least. A rusty old garden implement. Oh, that's better. I can see now. What the hell? Nothing more to see. Padlock of the really sturdy variety. That almost looks the same as the shredder in the museum. There's something lying in it. Cold. Yuck. An old bucket. Oh, I hope that isn't the toilet. Another door. Hmm, let's see now. Was kinda obvious. There's storage behind it for logs. It stretches right to the door. <laughs> There's no getting through here. There's a hell of a draft through the gaps in the boards. This shack's obviously not built on solid ground. The 
there's something lying under the bed, but I can't get at it. Gotcha. A cardboard box. Somebody scribbled something on the lid. Hmm. Can't decipher it. The word definitely begins with an R, though. Let's take a look inside. A rag doll. Pretty ugly and worn out. I recognize it. I I've seen it before. It was Ralph's. Yep, that's his doll. Mr. Bubby, or whatever he called it. Strange. How did it get here? Why has Ralph left it? He never used to go anywhere without it. What else have we got? A luminous sticker with a smiley on it. And a cork from a bottle. This must be Ralph's shack. Or his hideaway. Hmm. A peculiar shadow. I think I know where that mysterious shadow's coming from. Well, how about that? And so the key falls into my possession. As I thought, full of junk. So let's have a look. Damn! That looks like one of the robes and the masks from the Order that was after me. Huh. But at the same time, it's also proof that the Order existed. I'll take it with me. There's some paper in the robe. Seems to be a letter to the Order. Quite badly torn. Unable to stop the evil, already sacrificed. His objective or something happens to me. No trace is to be... I'm not completely certain, but it appears to be a request to cover up all traces of the Order. That would explain why the robe is in the shack. I'll put it back. Perhaps I'll find something useful after all. A corkscrew and a yardstick. They look in reasonable shape. I'll take them. Whoa, chainsaw. I've got a feeling that this baby's gonna come in handy. No thanks. I don't really want to know what's died in there. The tank's just about half full. Hopefully that'll be enough. I filled up the chainsaw. But the tank's lid is missing. I don't think it's a good idea to start it up as it is. Alright, that ought to hold. Now, we can get going. <laughs> I can't cut my way through the whole wood storage with the little bit of gas I've got. Interesting. There's at least half a meter of space below the boards. The shack must have been built on stilts. The next time I'm being pursued by hellhounds and hide in a shack, I'll look out for that as I go in. I'll just cut myself a trapdoor in the floor. 
It can also be closed again in an emergency. Good. Let's try it. I'm better leaving the heavy jump here. Good. No wild beasts for miles. Weird. No tracks. The beasties couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. Ugh. Oh, no. 